Welcome back, it's Women's Wednesday again. Um, this, this Wednesday is rolling around quick for me. I didn't really have anything hard pressing on my mind to talk about. Usually I do, you know, motherhood, whiffery stuff, but I think I'm gonna just cop out today and say uh, I'm gonna take you around and, and, and show you a little bit of what's growing in the garden and um, chat to you a little bit about our week of unleavened bread. It's been great. Um, we've all decided that we like unleavened bread fried with powdered sugar on it. And that's our favorite way to eat it. I'm not sure if that counts for, uh, for anything, but I had a very productive week last week um, preparing for Passover and unleavened bread. And um, I don't know, I think I worked myself to the point where I don't want to do anything this week. <laughs> so we've been We've been really taking it easy and uh, I just haven't really wanted to do much of anything. But maybe next um, time when Women's Wednesday rolls around, I'll have uh, some more big issues to talk about where I can, you know, make feminists mad and, and, and that kind of thing. But I wish you all a wonderful um, spring planting, which is what we're doing right now. Um, gosh, I'm not even, I'm not even excited about the planting. That's the thing. I don't know. I think... I'm a little lethargic from all the fried dough. I don't know. But um, great to see y'all. Hope y'all have a great um, rest of your Wednesday. And um, let me know what you're planning in your garden. And um, if you like unleavened bread, how do you like it? I don't know. Let's have some little, little recipe swapping or something. Um, but thanks, thanks so much, ladies. Bye-bye. So he planted multiple rows of butter beans. Uh, I think he planted several of green beans this year. Um, I'm pretty sure he planted corn, quite a bit of it, and probably more beans. And he left this little space right in front of me for what I wanted to put in, my tomatoes and whatever. Um, so I then planted, I got two rows of uh, peas, you know, the, the southern peas. And I'd like to get some more. I'd like to plant some different varieties. Maybe some pink-eyed purple hole or something like that. And then I planted two rows of butter peas, which I'm excited about. They were a uh, request last year at the farmer's market. So I'm looking forward to, to experimenting a little bit with something other than beans. But he got to it first, I guess, and which I'm, th I'm thankful for, you know. I'm, I'm pretty sure there'd be no way we could do it without them and without that tractor, but... <sighs> and then down here is my uh, early spring garden. I've got peas coming up. Now, I don't know if I planted them too late. I don't know if it's going to get too hot too quick. We'll see. Same thing with the potatoes. I've got some potatoes planted that are coming up. And I've got onions and I've got some beets coming in, which I'm excited about. And then kale from from the fall that is 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 still coming along nicely. I've got cabbage that's going to seed back there, and then I've got broccoli seedlings. Um, didn't get anything out of my broccoli in the fall. It was very disappointing, so we're going to try again. Here's the kitchen garden. I've expanded my asparagus at least double the size. I've got garlic growing in my asparagus bed right now in between the rows. And the asparagus is coming up. It looks okay. <laughs> and I'm trying to expand my strawberries to be, so this can be just a, like a perennial garden, um, herbs and whatnot. I do have some lettuce planted, but other than that, there's some onions that are coming back from last year but there's some pretty apple blossoms yay 